Good afternoon. This is your brother Bob from Berlin, Maryland. It's good to be here this Saturday um, with the OTEC Pros and the founders around the world, OTEC Pros Roundtable. Today, we are going to uh, be talking about um, moving forward and our gratitude to Mr. Arch and the team that has put everything together for us. But before we do that, as you all know, it is customary here that we, we, we do spotlight founding members, affiliates around the world. Those that have been making a difference, have been working behind the scenes, we bring them forward so that the entire unpassive community might know who they are. And today, we are very blessed to have the presence of someone that I have known for more than four years. Uh, we, she was one of us, we, the old winners, back in the days in the, of the old winners. She's also a graphic artist. Some of the graphic the designs that you saw was from her. She's been with us all through. In fact, when we went to Manchester last year, she took her flight. She was also in Manchester. That's how, how much she has on passive and heart. So it is my privilege and my honor to bring forward the one and only Mira Aquino. Mira, please come forward. Tell us who you are. Tell us what brought you to Unpassive. Take it from any angle and then tell us how you feel about us moving forward and the gratitude that you have. So the floor is yours, Mira. Thank you so much, Mr. Takusi. It is my gratitude, first of all, to say thank you for inviting me here and for sharing this moment with all of you. I'm so grateful to this moment right now. So uh, moving forward with, with gratitude in, in, my, in my life experience, you know, we, we find ourselves embracing each day with a renewed sense of purpose and appreciation. And gratitude is something that is, is, we're not born with, but we learn to, to cultivate, cultivate gratitude, gratitude as like a plant, right? Like a, a, a plant that we plant, and then we, we encourage and give it all this love to this plant to grow. It's cultivated. We are, we take a moment to, to reflect every day. We reflect on, on what happened during the day. And we can be thankful for every little single moment. As it doesn't matter how small or how big it is. You just be grateful to it. Because gratitude can bring so much power in, into you, into pos positivity and, and into your soul. And, and you can be the best version of yourself. I, my name is Myra Aquino, and I'm, I was born in the Dominican Republic. I was presented the opportunity or, or on passive when I was looking online to better myself and to bring an extra income to my household. And at, at the beginning, I, I hesitated a bit because I have failed in the past, but I, I never took a, 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 a loss of hope. I always take chances in life because that's what life is taking chances and always looking for the best for your life. And when I saw the opportunity of Unpassive, I thought about what about my, my past failures? But that is, I say, no, I'm gonna go and take this opportunity and take it all the way. And that happened exactly after I heard uh, uh, speaking, you know, after I heard Mr. Raj Mufari speak for the first time, I felt a genuine vibration to, uh, that came through that person. And I felt it in my, in my soul, in my veins, in, in my blood. And I say, I'm going for this. Doesn't matter how long it takes. Doesn't matter what I do in my life. Doesn't matter how it goes. I'm just going to go and do it. And ever since I've been here, uh, October 31st is going to be my fourth year. I haven't had one day of regret because I embrace everything, the positive, the negative. Everything is what teaches to be a better person. And then we can choose from there what we want to be or who we want to become, the people that we want to stay close to. It's just such a beautiful thing to, to be grateful to everything that you embrace in your life. And it's important. And it takes me, it takes me to think of passing with so much gratitude. Why? Because I will never, I always dream of a big family. I have, I come from a very small family. And when I saw this, this family grow every day and, and me personally making friends that I never saw that I was going to meet in my life experience, friends from all over the world, friends that today I see, I see in a high pedestal, so to speak, because I look up to them, I learn from them, I, I, I confident, I confident so many things with, you know, I feel trust in them. It's just beautiful what Don Pasi has done in, in, to me. And I'm so grateful to this vibration. And by the way, 
did you know the vibration has five, four uh, hertz? It's, it's that frequency. Five, I think uh, Mr. Takusi knows about megahertz. I think this is using computers. Hertz is also uh, commonly used to measure electromagnetic radiation. And, and you can measure a lot of things with, with hertz. And I didn't know, you know? And I, I started looking at that and the vibration of, of gratitude, 540. It's even a little bit slightly more, uh, higher than love. Love has 528. And I remember that number of love, the love vibration, because May 528 was one of my daughter was born on May 28. And that's why how it's sticking my in my memory, right? And I said, wow, love has that vibration of, of 528. And gratitude is even higher, a 540 vibration. So you know how powerful being grateful is? It just brings you into a different state of mind and in, in, in a state of thankfulness. Thankfulness for every little thing that you experience in your daily basis. And when you before you go to bed, just do that. And you see the power that you're going to, you're going to wake up so powerful because every experience is to be, you know, embraced with gratitude, everything. It, it's just amazing what will happen to us when, when we do, you know, when we embrace this, this uh, attitude and, and they say also attitude is the best attitude, right? And, and they write, they write the highest vibration of all. So I'm grateful to my experience with everybody. I'm grateful for all the friends in my big family that I met in Unpassive. I'm grateful for this opportunity that is going to transform my life in every possible way. It's going to transform my life in a personal level, and it's going to bring me to, to a different level altogether. I'm going to accomplish things that I never saw that I will accomplish because, you know, life happens. And sometimes we concentrate in, in our family, raising our children as a single mother. I raised my children and I was concentrated on that. So I kind of neglected a lot of things that I knew I was capable of, but here I am. Opasic, remind me again who I am, what I can be, what I can do in my life, and all the changes that I can bring across across every you know every encounter in my life, and in, and the communities that I wanted to to correct and and help to to stop the starvation that is happening in the world because we live in so much abundance there is no need for this, and it's just the awakening that Opasic has has bring me in, in a personal level that makes me be so grateful for the moment I get up and, and the moment I go to sleep. And every day for four years, I've been faithful to this vision, this mission of Mr. Ash Mufara, because this is what I believe in. It was put into my life experience because I was calling it for too long and it's finally here. I, I encourage everybody to get into that state of thankfulness, thankfulness be grateful. You know, when the things go wrong, when they don't go your way, there is no reason to complain. There is no reason to judge. There is no reason to criticize. Be grateful for every experience because every experience is going to give you, it's going to give you the, the start, the start of what you want to do and what you want and who you want to be from there on. So everything good and bad is to embrace. Be thankful to Mr. Mufara, who is the one who have a sleepless night working for us, working to bring to bring the world into, into unity and to bring it to make possible that people understand what love is. Love is, is, is a big it's a big thing. It, it's, it's something that is not only love to your mother or father or your children, it's a love to every every little thing that I see, every living creature, because everything counts. We are everything and everything counts, you know? It's just it gets me so so touchy when I think of, gra of gratitude because I've been I've been grateful I've been grateful without knowing why I was grateful I, I just know that I enjoy everything even the smell of the coffee that I drink even when I sit in my mother's patio and I see this little hummingbird coming to eat from the plant from the flower you know and and I feel the breeze and everything gives me joy. And it's, it's just something that we had to cultivate. I keep cultivating it because I really love life, you know, and I love on passive because I know what's going to happen in the world with this with this mission of Mr. Raj Mufara. I'm so grateful for his presence, for for life, putting him in my in my journey, in my path, because without him, I, I don't think I would have been saying everything that I'm saying today. I really are inspired by him, by the, the lifting that he's doing to, to lift us all, all of us, you know, and, and to put us together in this mission is just the, the greatest gift that I can ever ask for. 
So I thank you for the time today. I thank you for being here with me, for sharing this journey. And I'm grateful for everything. You just name it. Everything gives me joy. I'm just grateful. Thank you so much. And remember, this is not innate. Gratitude, being grateful is not innate, but we can cultivate it. And it's going to give us a better and more positive life. Thank you so much for, for the time over here. Thank you. Wow. All what I can say is, wow, Mira. Thank you so much. Thank you. Those words are very powerful. You said, be grateful for every experience. Increase your love and gratitude frequency. You went technical that I, I don't know if you want to go there. Those are some very powerful words. Thank you so much. And truthfully, you've been here. I, I, I remember you since from the days of our old winners, very engaged, trying to do the best that you could. You have been steady throughout the journey of Unpassive. And the one thing that I might add is every single one of us on this panel and those that are engaged are here because we 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 are, we are attracted by we are connected with Ash Mufara spiritually because only a few of us really got this vision of Ash Mufara is because your natural predisposition what you are inside when no one is looking is that you have that thing in you to uplift humanity that's why you saw the vision so thank you so much let us go to the one and only um the man who <laughs> who knows how to, to 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 get us excited, get us hopeful, get us, you know, be at the place where we're all supposed to be, get us to see the rumble, that rumble that is now almost at all of us are everybody's driveway. You can feel that rumble is right there. Brother Mike Ellis, please tell us what you think about now that we are moving forward and the gratitude that we have within us. You take it from any angle, sir. Yeah, no, no, thanks, Bob. Uh, uh, a <laughs> good introduction. I'm not sure I can uh, I can perform like you want me to. Mira, what you said was absolutely phenomenal. I absolutely absolutely loved everything you said, and gratitude really is the key. And and you said one thing that that I thought was very very interested in interesting. You said you you have tremendous gratitude as you should, but you're not quite sure why. And I want to touch on the why, uh, because there are a lot of reasons within on passive. Once you understand why, not only do you have gratitude, but you wake up with a with, with a step in your in your in your why. I mean, you you just feel really really good. But before I get into the why of on passive and why be gratitude, why be great grateful for on passive, I want to start where Mr. Mufara is, and Mr. Mufara started this journey with the understanding that his gratitude is with God, period. And he does that with no apologies, nor will I. Once you start with a spiritual base, you understand that God is really in control. And if you have him on your side, everything is cake. It might be hard, but it's a piece of cake. And that's where Mr. Mufara starts. And if you start there, you're in a really, really good place. And then we come into on passive. Why should we be grateful for on passive? Obviously, we're all grateful because of Mr. Mufara, what he brings to the table, his vision, his heart, uh, the amount of care he has for each and every one of us. That's a tremendous thing. And you should be grateful for that. But you start to think about what Mr. Mufara has developed. And I'm going to put it in very, very simple terms. This is not hard to understand. But if you think about the new digital infrastructure that Mr. Mufara has developed, honest, clean, ethical, efficient, secure, you have something that has never been there before. And, and a lot of people will hear that and they'll go, well, I mean, that sounds nice, but we really already have that. I mean, you can go online, you can do everything you need to do online, it's all there, you just go and do it. Uh, no. What Mr. Mufar is bringing online, you have to understand that. If you, if, you, if you understand this, you understand where we're at and how unique we are. What Mr. Mufar has developed, and it's a done deal, it's here, it's ready to go, has never been there before. It's not online right now, guys. Honest, clean, ethical, efficient, secure, 
it's not there. You cannot find it. In fact, when you go online, everything that's there right now is stacked against you. It's not there for your pleasure. It's not there for your benefit. It's not there for you to build a business. It's there for other people to take your money, period. That's what it is. And, and that's business. I understand it. I, I don't agree with it, but I understand it. Mr. Mufara is changing everything with a new digital infrastructure. And, and what does that mean? <clears throat> Obviously, you come in, you start to understand that, and, and your first question is, okay, what does it do for me? Because that's why we're here. What is it going to do for you and I? And when we start to think about it, you have to start a, you, you have to start thinking about a business plan. And if you've ever been in business for yourself, you understand that developing a business plan and then implementing it, it's a really, really hard thing to do. To come in, it takes about two to three years to, to develop a, a business plan and implement it. Then it takes another five to eight years to actually get into profit. And if we look at Marty, Dan, and I, and, and what we've done over the last 10 or 12 years, developing a business plan and implementing that business plan, what does it exist? What, what exists in that plan? And it it's really, really complicated. It's really, really hard to do. Number one, you have to have an online shop. And when I talk about an online shop, you have to find something online that you can market and sell, okay? Unpassive, what do we have to be grateful for? When you look at Unpassive and you look at the products of Unpassive, you know the products of Unpassive, number one, they're gonna be superior. Technology is gonna be superior to anybody out there. And I know, I know a lot of people on this panel, you know all of this stuff, but for the individuals that are new and just looking at on passive, when you understand this, you're going to get gratitude right away. We already have it, but you will see that, yeah, gratitude is the right word for what Mr. Mufara has done. And when you look at the products of on passive, superior at a lower price, Marty, Dan, and I could come in, look at any product that on passive comes out with, doesn't matter what it is, whether it's uh, whether it's the webinar platform, whether it's the educational platform, whether it's the H&R platform, all the platform that Mr. Farr is gonna come out with superior lower price point. Because of, because of what we've done and, and what we've developed over the years, we can come in and take any one of those products and it's over. And when I say it's over, I'm talking about your bottom line. I'm talking about money. I'm talking about it coming in and being able to pretty much call the shots. You can do whatever you want to do. And it's because of, of, of the other things that we've put together, not only the online shop and the products, but all the content that we can, we can develop with sales pay, the landing page, the sales page, the autoresponders, the follow-ups, everything that's involved in marketing to people. This is Marty, Dan, and I, and, and I'm, I'm going to tell you why you should be grateful in just a second. So we've been able to do that. We've been able to come into a market, be able to analyze the market, see how big the market is, see if it's big enough for us to come in and actually start marketing in that market. Because obviously, if you're going to market something, money has to be there. Unpassive. Why should you be grateful? When you look at the markets of unpassive, they're not baby markets. They're, they're not toothpicks. They're not toothbrushes. They're big, big, big markets. And, and when you just take a few products of Unpassive, it is a trillion-dollar industry. It is a trillion-dollar market. And when I say that, that's not over 10 or 20 years. That's an annual amount that could come into Unpassive if they took over the whole market. Trillion dollars. That's That's massive. So again, when, when you look at a business plan, putting it together, doing all the things you need to do, having the market, and then coming in and driving traffic, getting eyes in front of what you have, it's a very, very difficult thing to do. Marty, Dan, and I, we've learned how to do that over the last 12 years. It, it, it takes time. You can't do this overnight. And then we come, why should you be, great, why should you be, be grateful for Unpassive? As you look at what Mr. Mufara has done, with with the new digital infrastructure, putting everything together under one umbrella, everything being connected, everything that Marty, Dan, and I have learned to do over 12 years, and it doesn't matter when you come into Unpassive, if you've been here for five years, or if you come in as we come into the new launch of Unpassive, you have everything that Marty, Dan, and I have and have developed over the last five years. What does that mean? You can do what we can do. 
right away. Boom. Right away. Doesn't take any time. And everybody here, everybody coming into Unpassive can do those things. But it's even better than that. If you don't have the inclination to do those things, and by the way, they're very, very easy to do. It doesn't take much to come into a passive, cut time frames, and get to that place you want to be quicker. It doesn't take that much. But if you want to come in, do the minimal in on passive, and let on passive do the work, you can do that too. That's what Mr. Mufara has done. Do you have something to be grateful for? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Because it doesn't matter if you come in and you just don't have the inclination to do a lot. Mr. Mufar is going to get you to that place where he's going to force you to be successful. What does that mean? Your bottom line is going to change. And over time, you will get to the place where you, you won't worry about finances. That's Mr. Mufar. That is on passive. So as, as I think about on passive, as I, as I think about what Mr. Mufar has done, as I think about his vision, as I think about the, the new digital, and it, it, it's such a big deal, the new digital platform. It is massive, guys. It, 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 is, it is unpassive in its totality. And we don't even know what the totality of unpassive is. There are going to be things that are going to be added to this, to this new digital infrastructure that will blow your mind. You think it's good now. You think it's good now. You haven't seen anything yet, guys. And, and we, we, we are right at the beginning of this. We get to participate with Mr. Mufar. He wants us to come in. He wants us to participate. He wants us to get excited about what he's doing and what's coming, not in months or years, but in weeks. Do you have something to be grateful for? Absolutely. This is on passive. This is what they bring to the table. This is what Mr. Mufar brings to the table. And, and I want to end with, with one last thing, and, and I'll turn it back over to you, Bob. I, uh, I, I work because I'm waiting for on passive to do the relaunch, and obviously you got to pay your bills. I, I work. And I work with some very high-end individuals. They make a lot of money. They really do. But they're, that, they're, not, they're not that much different than you and I. They like to have fun. I, I love that word, don't you? You want to have fun. That's why a lot of people come into Unpassive. They want to have fun. And these high-end individuals, when they have fun, they do it the right way. They go where they want to go. They do what they want to do. They have the money to do that. But here's the caveat. They're just like you and I. They work like dogs, and they work probably 90 to 95% of the time, and they've got 5% of their life to have fun. And I'm going, it, it shouldn't be that way. Let's turn that thing around. Let's, let's make it 95% of the time you're having fun and 5% of the time you're working. Now, I do want to tell you this. <clears throat> I work, I've said that. I work because I have to bring in income, I have to pay my bills. What's my fun? This has been for the last five and a half years, by the way. I get done with work and my fun begins. It is on passive. I enjoy what I'm doing. This is not work for me. This is absolute fun. And, and what's the old saying? If, if you love what you do, you never work. When I get done working my daily, whatever I do, and I get home, I've got about 12, 12 hours of just pure fun. It is on passive. Why? It's because on passive, and, 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 and again, this is the last five years, it's because on, on passive has allowed me to dream and they don't put any limitations on me. And if you talk to Marty or Dan, if, they, if, if, if you talk to them about how I dream, they will tell you I'm absolutely insane. And everything that I dream over the last five and a half years, and I talked to Marty and Dan about this, everything we've thought at, 100%, this is 100%, guys, Mr. Mufara, our crazy professor, has come in and made it a reality. Who'd have thought? How could that happen? How, how can he do that? And it's just, it's number one, he's very, very, very smart. And the vision that he has it is so far beyond me that anything I think about, he comes, oh, we've already done that. And I go, what? <laughs> You've already done this? What? And it continues that way because I, I, I think I think six years, a year, whatever it is, I think in the future, 
And Mr. Mafar, he's so far ahead of us. Marty and Dan, we just scratch our head and go, hey, we're not going to stop. As long as you keep fulfilling our, our wishes and our dreams, we're just going to keep dreaming, Mr. Mufara. And you can just keep doing what you do because we know you're going to be ahead of us. Gratitude. It's a great place to be on passive. It's not work. And when you when you start to understand what Mr. Mufara has done, you start to come in and enjoy what he's putting in front of you. All those things that are there to make you successful, to force you to be successful. When you understand that and you come in, the gratitude, it just it just flows out of you every single day. When you get up, when you go to bed, you're just thankful that you were in a position to be in a place where you can appreciate what Mr. Mufara has done and appreciate what all the other uh, affiliates have done along with uh, with Mr. Mufar, because people people are really really amazing. They 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 just come in no expectations, and they just exceed everything that you thought they could do. That's a really really fun thing. That's it, it's another one of those things you can be grateful for that you can actually see that in in front of you. Uh, I, I'm kind of rambling a little bit, Bob, but but I, I'm very very excited about our passive. That's and okay, the gratitude. <laughs> the gratitude is yeah. always there. Uh, so I'll turn it back over to you and gratitude. Mr. Ash is giving us the over. Tool kit, like like you said. I think last week, or was it you or Maddie, who is giving us the toolkit to use to our own optimum potential. That's it. You talked about fun, fun, fun. It is true. If you speak to my brother, Oliver Fonte, he will say that this is the only business where you don't have to worry about paying rent. You don't have to worry about paying employees. You don't have to worry about paying insurance. You don't have to worry about everything. It's done for you. You have a business and you don't have any of those headaches. Mr. Ash has elevated that off of all of us. Isn't that amazing? So all what you need to do is have fun, 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 and then go forward and express your gratitude in the way you can. Now, let me let me introduce the next great doctor of unpassive. You know, it is actually my privilege and my honor, and I think I believe to be the first one to introduce her to the world as a doctor. Okay. Please, okay. let us welcome Dr. Ivy Mix. Now it makes sense. Now everything makes sense about her. When she speaks, the way she speaks, the content of her speeches, now it makes sense. She's, I was privileged to find out last week that she's now a doctor of divinity and I believe psychology. She's going to tell us more. But let us hear from Dr. Yeah. Ivy Miss. Tell us about uh, what you think about us moving forward and your gratitude. Thank yeah. you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And... Um... Gratitude and moving forward, I'll give gratitude to uh, Mr. Ash Mofara and on passive for who I have become today. I wasn't any of that. <laughs> I wasn't planning to be any of that. I was just a joint on passive. And I can tell you where in my room I was standing and he was introducing some people to on passive. And I realized that he liked excellence and he liked like, um, he just did. He said he had people of integrity, people with skill, people who know. And even our Ash Mufara is, we like him because we know he is way up there in intelligence, in skill and in learning. And what he's doing and where he's bringing us to, he requires that. So when I was watching that, um, um, webinar. It was about a three and a half hour webinar. I had just done, I think I was just doing an associate's degree just here and there randomly one um, credit a week or a month. I mean, not something I was going after. I was just doing it because the opportunity had come to my lap. So when I heard him that day, I said, oh, he values education. He values skill. He values knowledge. He values excellence. So that started my brain turning. And then one person has said, oh, he had written these many books. And I said, well, I think I can do that. You know, so just that, I don't know why it came to me like that. So I said, okay, then I became serious. So before I realized, four years, I just be going through. And then 
uh, when I reached the uh, master's degree, or I can't remember if it was master's or doctorate, then I used to hear Maddie. Maddie used to say, you're not too old for anything. I, I heard it on his morning. There was a, a time that's all he talked about. There was a time where he was always saying, whether you're 60 or 80 or whatever, you can always... Uh, then I said, okay, you know, so it, on passive has made me better, better. It was nothing I was thinking about, brothers and sisters. And I also told myself, on passive is going to be big. And we have to share on passive with the world. Some people would not listen to you if you are not qualified. It's just them. That's how they are. It's just like somebody says, I'm going to fly a plane and I don't have any hours in piloting. You will not have confidence in them. That's the way the world is. And I said, okay, I can do this. So I just want to tell you, it's one of the hardest, hardest things I ever did. I didn't think I could make it. I had, there was a time I used to talk to Engineer Mike. I said, Engineer Mike, I cannot come on any webinar because I have to study. And then there was a day I gave up because I had one class that my professor was requiring. I read 4,000 pages. That was before the classes and the papers. And I was like, how was I going to do it? Then I have a friend, a doctor, and she said, Ivy, go for it. As she says, we know how hard it is, but so I thank God for everybody pushing me through. So that is my first gratitude, my gratitude to who I've become today. My husband comes here and he says, oh my God, Dr. Mrs. Ivy Mix. I say, yeah, that's me. That's your wife. So um, it was, it's been, it's been an amazing, it's been one of, it took me about, uh, Brother Bob was the first person I told in on passing because I had just gotten the paper and I texted it to him. So thank you for that introduction. And um, it was one of the hardest things, but I it took me about a week to know that my status was different, not like in any way, but it could not sink in. It could not sink at work because it was too hard. It's like when you run a race and you, 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 you get to the finish line and you are the first crossing the line. You cannot even believe you've crossed the line. That was what happened to me. I could not believe it for days. I could not know that I had crossed the finish line. And I want to thank Mr. Um, Ash Mofara for that. So um, talking about gratitude, my gratitude is um, expansive, is immense. And I, I always want to be able to share a tip or a power in your mind. Because some of us, like me, I was my mind was powered to move forward and go to school. I heard it. So on these webinars, know that you're coming for your mind to be empowered. When you listen to Mr. Mike Ellis, at times we think it's, it's too huge, but your mind has to be empowered to receive the amount, which is what we are dealing with. It cannot, it cannot, he cannot say it in any other way. When he talks about the figures, that is what it is. That's a reality. And most of the time he says he's lowballing the numbers. So we are being empowered to receive um, a power. At times you don't have the power to think. Like, um, let me give you an example. Some people will be saying, okay, let's say, um, well, We've, we've, we've seen that our numbers have expanded and grown on the old tech, the heroes, all the webinars. Why is it so? Because we've been talking about it. Show your hand, um, make a comment. So the next step is going to be putting on your camera. Now, putting on your camera is hard for some people. It was hard for me. So I started getting a suit, put it on the side. And then anytime I'm called upon, even if it's one, it was a black one and I'll wait. Then I had what I call my hair. Don't you laugh? Because one day my husband came to the house and I said, can you get me my hair? So hair full of hair, your, your hair. And then he just put his hand, it's your hair. I said, no, I have another hair somewhere. I know ladies know what I mean. I said, that is my other hair. It's blue and it has more curls. It's another name for a wig, but in this house, we don't say wig, we say hair. So just get another uh, another set of hair, put it on the side. <laughs> when they say, my girl is coming on, or Ash is coming on, put on your suit and put on your other hair. We call it hair. Put on your hair, your real hair or your other hair. So um, these are things that we are learning. So just make fun, just be happy. Like Mike Ellis said, he said so many things that is exciting me. This is my happy place. 
when I'm invited, uh, like I was invited, I was like, yes, I'll go. You know, so it makes you excited. The next day you'll be thinking of what to say and all that. So the more you have gratitude in your own life, the more you have energy, the more you feel bouncy, the more you know what to say. You know, um, you are building your own superpower. Nobody's building it for you. Ash, we are grateful for Ash. He's done his own. Now the super person that's going to be is you. You're waiting for you. You're not waiting for Ash. Ash has done his own. Now we are waiting. You are waiting for you. So what are you going to bring to you? How are you going to approach? How are you going to give yourself to the world? Um, who you are is far greater than anyone has ever told you. It is um, your duty to make it happen. Happiness, what does happiness mean? Happiness means you've made it happen. When it happens continuously, then you are happy. Happy is coming from the word happen. It happens. Ash has made it happen for us. That's why that's excitement. He's made it happen for us. Now step into that happening. It's continuous. Look at it. We are so happy because the news he gave us was a happening was a happening. He has changed a situation. We could go into an oh yes. The next day we could do this. We could, you see, he is continually, continuously, sorry, making us happy. He's making it happen for us. It's your duty to step into it and make yourself happy. It's your duty to step into it and add what you need to continue your gratitude. I am so grateful to Ash. You know, when a building is torn, when you tear a building down, within three months, if you don't rebuild it, you see weeds growing it, you see snakes in there. I don't know if there are lizards in this country, but in Africa we'll have lizards, we'll have crocodiles, we'll have everything in there. Now that building was torn down. Take no, he put it back up. Nature is such that nature cannot stand a void. You cannot have that old building there without all the weeds in there. So what did he do for us? He did not allow the weeds to grow in our mind. He did not allow us to be depressed. He did not, we are grateful that he rebuilt the house. He did not have time for snakes and all these kind of negativity to grow in there. That's the first big thank you we should be giving. Now that your mind is clear, what are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with it? We get what we rehearse, not what we intend. What you rehearse, you're going to rehearse where you're going. Ash is continually saying, I was born to change the world. Ash is continually saying, he's going to do this or die. What are you saying? What are you saying? Are you saying I'm good enough? Are you saying I'm worthy of this thing coming? Are you saying I'm happy? Are you saying I'm full of joy? Are you saying that I'm in the greatest company ever? See me, these are things that you have to empower yourself with. As you say them, you'll be knowing what to do. As you say them, your step will be changed. There are days I just step out and I look in the mirror and I say, oh, not being a, a, a prideful. I say I'm the best. I say it for me. When I go to the airport and I sit in a plane, I say, thank you, God, for giving me this opportunity to, to have this kind of experience. What are you saying? Let us empower ourselves as we're being grateful. This is the time we're going to step into great, great, great empowerment. And also, um, one great thing that we want to do now is to create a thought. What new thing are we going to think today to show that we are grateful? Not what you thought yesterday. Yesterday is past. Your future is coming. The future is a building. Like I said, you are the superpower that is going to build your life. So right now we've been giving, we've had it twice. We've given the toolkit. We've been given the tools to build this great life, this great happening that has happened. And you have to shift out of where you were yesterday. You can move forward. How can you do that? Number one, by being obedient and compliant. When they say, okay, the OES is coming, let us um, sign in and stop and wait. That is a shift. That is a shift. Learning how to do as you're told, with especially like the old tech pros and people who are technical, they will tell you that you can put this thing on tomorrow. 
48 hours later, you can do this. So that is part of our growth. And then be an astronaut of your life. I'll, uh, I'll give you a story and I'll stop here. There's a lady called Danica pa Patrick. She's one of the fastest driving the NASCAR on the earth. So fast. And she started um, doing the NASCAR when she was 10 years old. But she also learned another skill which made put her forward. Do you know what she did? She did what the astronauts did. The astronauts, they live ahead of time. Astronauts, they have what they call precognitive thinking. They enter into where they are going before it comes. Now, Danica Patrick, in her mind, she was driving at 250. And the human being, uh, 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 um, by, by nature, the fastest you can drive is 170. She put herself, she's, she sped, she, she lived outside her speed in her mind. And she was able to do 225, 225 miles per hour. And when they asked her the fastest speed she has gone, she said she went to 45. So what am I trying to say? We can think and put ourselves in that, according to Mr. Mike Ellis, and according to me, and according to what we are going to do, put ourselves in that prosperity, put ourselves in what is coming. Before I guess here, Danica Patrick did it. I was amazed that she, so they tested her brain in the lab and she had an unusual uh, a decibel in her mind because that is how she was thinking. Are we going to be thinking that way? As she's thinking that way, as she's living in a world that he has moved forward, when are we going to catch up? We have to catch up. We have to catch up. And that's how our gratitude is going to be expressed. So I just want to say thank you for this great uh, 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 forum. Thank you for all these meetings that we've been having. Thank you to, for the invitation. Thank you for the great ladies, for the sisterhood and the support of the men. We are going somewhere and we are going to enter into that uh, 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 time that Ash is taking us to. Thank you. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's why we call her Ivy Mix. Dr. Ivy Mix, everybody. Please give it up for Dr. Ivy Mix. What did she say that I got? Hey, you are your own superpower, she says. You are your own superpower. Ash is giving you the tools for you to be your own superpower. Make it happen. Make it happen that you, you'll be happy. Yeah. And then she ends with the astronaut analogy where you have precognitive thinking. So what Barbara Mike Ellis has been saying is Mike Ellis believe everything that he said and I believe what he's saying. That's a precognitive thinking, right? When Barbara Mike tells us privately, not publicly, some, some things that can blow our mind, we keep it in our mind because it is true. That is the precognitive thinking. You attract it. You attract it and bring it inside your soul and it becomes a reality. Let us hear from... Uh, Sister Francine, if she can just summarize what we've heard so far. I know it's a lot, but she's very good at just picking one or two things just to tell our French-speaking community what has been going on so far. Then we'll go to Serge in Germany, and then we'll go to my one and only Gina Liva. So let us uh, hear from our sister Francine. Francine, over to you, please. Merci beaucoup. Merci, Bob. Merci, tout le monde. Donc, nous sommes très heureux ce soir d'avoir cette session euh, au cours de laquelle nous allons euh, voir pourquoi il est intéressant d'exprimer notre gratitude et notre reconnaissance. Donc, euh, nous avons une invitée de marque parmi nous ce soir qui nous a accompagnés dans beaucoup depuis le temps des winners. Elle s'appelle Maria Aquino. Maria Aquino est quelqu'un d'important parce que elle a toujours été là. Donc, euh, avoir de la gratitude pour notre invité principal ce soir, c'est dans tout, toutes nos expériences que nous devons l'expérimenter. Donc, elle ne s'est pas arrêtée de prendre des opportunités telles qu'elles se présentaient et elle s'est sentie bénie de rencontrer en passive. Donc, euh, elle, a, elle fête ses quatre, ses quatre ans avec On Passive le 21 octobre prochain et elle voit sa croissance au jour le jour. 
Et elle a pris une analogie euh, de ce que provoque la gratitude en nous avec les ondes 528, je crois, euh, mégahertz. La pratique de la gratitude est telle que des ondes sont projetées et des ondes très puissantes, donc ça élève notre esprit. La pratique de la gratitude élève notre esprit, retenons cela. Donc, en tant que mère célibataire, cela l'a beaucoup aidé pour faire face à bien des situations dans la vie et elle encourage chacun de nous à pratiquer cela dans notre quotidien. Et elle a beaucoup de gratitude, particulièrement aujourd'hui encore vis-à-vis -vis de H. Moufaré qui a insufflé ce courant parmi nous. Donc, euh, n'arrêtons pas de prier pour H. Moufaré. Mike Ellis nous a également euh, entraîné, comme d'habitude, dans les chiffres. Euh, je n'ai pas pu relever tous ces chiffres-là, mais il a dit que le, ce que j'ai retenu de plus, c'est que H. Moufaré nous donne les outils pour développer notre business. Et H. Moufaré est l'un des premiers personnages qui pratique la gratitude. Parce que pour vivre le projet qu'il a mis en place, c'est quelqu'un qui s'est tourné vers Dieu. Et plus on se rapproche de Dieu, plus on a cette importance de la gratitude. C'est essentiel. Tout est dans les mains de Dieu et on passive ne peut pas dévier de cette trajectoire. Ensuite, euh, dans le monde numérique aujourd'hui, ceci m'a paru très important. Euh, on passive a développé quelque chose dont nous dont nous pouvons être fiers, parce que si nous fouillons le monde numérique aujourd'hui, nous n'allons jamais retrouver la performance de ce que nous avons dans un passif. Et il nous a lancé le défi de le faire. Pourquoi? Parce que nos programmes sont tellement bien élaborés qu'ils ne sauraient tenir dans un business plan. Le business plan a quelque part une limitation qui ne nous permettrait pas de tout mettre ce qu'il y a dans les programmes de on passive. Donc ça, c'est très pertinent et c'est très rassurant en même temps. Donc tout ce que nous pouvons développer, euh, attendez, donc l'argent, l'argent ne représente même encore rien par rapport à cela, parce que c'est des sommes pharaoniques. On ne peut pas euh, développer ici. Nous félicitons notre sœur Ivy Mix qui a eu le titre de docteur aujourd'hui et euh, Ivy est une personne qui nous dit aujourd'hui que euh, notre pouvoir est entre nos mains. Nous sommes nous-mêmes le pouvoir absolu. C'est le message à retenir de docteur Ivy aujourd'hui. Elle fait une analogie même avec les astronautes qui... Euh, euh, qui vivrait, je dis au conditionnel parce que c'est l'information qu'elle a donnée, qui vivrait au-delà de l'existence actuelle, me projette toujours plus loin, pour, au, le plus loin possible pour dépasser ce départ eux-mêmes. Donc, ils vivent dans une certaine gratitude au-delà des attentes. Et euh, elle remercie aujourd'hui On Passive pour son titre de docteur parce qu'elle a appris énormément au cœur d'On Passive depuis qu'elle y est. Elle s'est sentie encouragée et elle remercie particulièrement M. H. Mouvaret. Donc, euh, grosso modo, elle nous invite à grandir, à nous laisser grandir nous-mêmes parce que c'est au fond de nous et c'est de nos devoirs de... de que nous, viens, nous pourrons concrétiser la réalité si nous pratiquons la gratitude. Mettons-nous même dans ce qui vient, projetons-nous et mettons-nous à l'intérieur de ce qui est en train de venir au devant de nous. C'est comme ça que nous allons dépasser les frontières. Merci beaucoup. Merci, merci Marcel, merci. Merci beaucoup. Um, so we go all the way back to Europe, we go to our brother Serge. Stage, thanks for joining us. Uh, please, if you can just um, give us what your your feelings are in reference to um, moving forward with gratitude, as our title says. Over to you, Serge. Okay. Hello, everyone. My, my name is Sarah Shambirini from uh, Ivory Coast, 
but uh, I'm living in Germany. I have studied here and I work here. Okay, I want to speak in French because I'm here for the French speaking people. So, bon. mm -hmm. voilà. So, oui, parlons de honte passive. Honte passive. Si on veut parler de honte passive, on va prendre énormément de temps parce que honte passive, c'est ma seconde passion. Ma première passion, c'est Dieu et les êtres humains. Et ma deuxième passion que je viens de découvrir, c'est honte passive. Pourquoi est-ce que honte passive est une passion pour moi? C'est une passion pour moi parce que honte passive eh, va me permettre d'atteindre euh, mes objectifs dans la vie. Moi, personnellement, mes, mes objectifs, ce n'est pas euh, d'être une, une personne très riche et avoir des villas partout, avoir un jet privé ou euh, ce genre de choses. Mais mon objectif, c'est d'aider beaucoup de personnes. Voilà, c'est d'aider beaucoup de personnes, aider les orphelins, aider les nécessités. Je ne, je, ne, je ne saurais jamais vous expliquer pourquoi est-ce que j'ai ce genre d'obsession ou bien j'ai ce genre d'idées dans mon cœur, mais moi-même, je n'arrive pas à expliquer tout ça. Et c'est comme ça que je suis. Et donc, euh, euh, mais lorsque vous avez ce genre de choses, vous avez ce genre de pensées et que euh, votre salaire ne vous permet pas de faire beaucoup de choses, vous savez que vous voyez que vous avez des limites. C'est dans la recherche d'opportunités que j'ai que j'ai vu je suis tombé sur on passive voilà et là, comment est-ce que je suis tombé sur on passive d'abord j'étais dans une situation matrimoniale très difficile et donc je devais je, je cherchais à avoir une maison et c'est là que j'ai trouvé j'ai vu une maison et j'ai parlé avec le bailleur et dans notre échange le bailleur m'avait dit que bon je lui avais il m'avait demandé qu'est-ce que je fais comme comme, comme travail, qu'est-ce que je fais que j'ai comme plaisir, qu'est-ce que je vais faire dans la vie. Donc, dans tout ça, là, je lui ai expliqué que voilà, moi, je cherche à faire beaucoup de, de développement euh, au niveau de la, en, en Afrique là-bas. Et donc, il m'a dit, voilà, je peux, je peux te présenter une société qu'on appelle On Passive, qui a un logiciel qui va venir qu'on appelle Oblès, qui pourra t'aider à faire tout ce que tu, tu aimerais faire. Donc, au départ, tout ce qu'il était en train de dire, là, ça ne m'intéressait pas parce que moi, je voulais... Je voulais juste la maison, qu'il me donne la maison. Donc, euh, mais après, j'ai pris des vidéos de, de Fernand Côté et j'ai regardé pendant euh, tout un week-end. Et c'est à la fin du week-end que j'ai été convaincu. Je me suis dit, OK, puisque ce n'est pas cher, donc il faudrait que je puisse euh, avoir un compte. Donc, je me suis inscrit et c'est comme ça que je suis arrivé à Honte Passive. Donc, j'ai commencé à suivre un peu les webinaires de H. Mofaré. Et j'ai vu qu'il avait... Bon, ce n'est pas ce genre d'entrepreneur de, de, que nous connaissons tous. C'est totalement quelqu'un qui parle de Dieu, qui parle de la, de, de la relation entre les hommes, euh, il parle de paix, il parle de développement des hommes, tout et tout ça. Donc ça aussi, ça m'a vraiment, vraiment impressionné parce que ça, c'est mon domaine. Élever les autres, aider les autres, tout et tout ça. Vous voyez Et donc, c'est ainsi que j'ai... J'ai commencé à, 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 à aller encore plus en profondeur dans, la, dans cette affaire de honte passive. Et j'ai croisé des personnes très merveilleuses comme les OTH Pro, comme Martienne, qui m'a beaucoup donné des conseils, qui m'a beaucoup guidé. Et parce qu'au départ, je ne suis pas quelqu'un qui fait, voilà, qui se présente devant des personnes comme ça. Si je me présente devant des personnes pour parler, c'est à l'église. Voilà. Et donc, elle m'a motivé à, 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 voilà, à participer à des émissions et tout, tout ça. Et donc, c'est comme ça que j'ai commencé, je, je me retrouve aujourd'hui parmi vous. Donc, le, le chemin n'était pas aussi facile, mais c'était vraiment intéressant lorsque vous avez des, des personnes eh, qui vous poussent, qui vous, qui vous aiment, qui vous encouragent, tout et tout comme les hôtesses pro, comme, les, comme par exemple euh, Martienne et puis d'autres personnes. Et ça m'a tellement intéressé que moi-même, j'ai créé des groupes, des groupes de, de formation. J'appelle ça des groupes de formation parce que je faisais des formations sur les logiciels, tout ça. Voilà. Donc, voilà comment euh, euh, je suis arrivé. Voilà 
comment je suis devenu aujourd'hui. Et tout ça, je pense que c'est grâce à, à, à notre PDG. Parce que si je n'avais pas vu le genre de personne que le PDG est, je n'allais pas, je pas euh, voilà, aller, en, aller beaucoup plus en profondeur. Mais il y a, le PDG a une certaine, a une certaine personnalité qui, qui, qui m'inspire. Vous voyez, qui m'inspire beaucoup. Souvent, je, me, je, me, je réfléchis, je me demande, mais comment il arrive à faire telle chose Comment il arrive à garder son calme malgré les difficultés que nous rencontrons Comment il arrive à garder de, le, le calme avec toute cette masse de, 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 de personnes qui comptent sur lui Vous voyez, quand tu es, dans, tu es un père de famille, deux ou trois personnes comptent sur toi, ou bien bon, en Afrique, peut-être deux familles, trois familles comptent sur toi. Mais H. Moufaré, c'est des millions de personnes qui comptent sur lui actuellement. Je me demande comment il arrive à dormir, comment il arrive à planifier tout, comment il arrive à gérer même sa famille, tout et tout ça. Donc, euh, c'est quelqu'un qui m'inspire beaucoup. Ça m'impressionne, sa manière de faire des choses. Et ce qui m'a beaucoup impressionné encore, c'est pourquoi je, 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 je passe le temps à, à le remercier, c'est qu'au moment où la, la, on, a, on traversait énormément de difficultés, où l'entreprise pouvait se fermer d'un jour à, à, à l'autre, il, il, euh, voilà, il avait cette positivité. Il n'a jamais dit que nous allons laisser tomber. Il n'a jamais dit des choses qui, vont, qui allaient nous faire peur. Il n'a jamais dit des choses qui allaient peut-être nous décourager. Mais il, a, il nous a toujours encouragés. Il, avait, il était toujours de bonne humeur, alors qu'on savait qu'il y avait le feu qui brûlait en bas. Voilà, donc c'est pour cela que je remercie véritablement le PDG pour tout ce qu'il a fait pour nous, pour tout ce qu'il continue de faire actuellement, parce que je sais que lorsque On Passive va fonctionner, ça sera vraiment une très grande grâce pour moi personnellement et pour beaucoup de personnes. Il y a, à travers moi, il y a énormément de personnes qui vont bénéficier. Il y a des orphelinats qui vont bénéficier, il y, a des, il y a des entreprises qui vont bénéficier, il y a des cliniques qui vont bénéficier, il y a des, grands, il y a des familles, il y a énormément d'enfants qui vont bénéficier, il y a beaucoup de jeunes qui vont bénéficier à cause des projets que j'ai déjà con, conçus aussi lorsque nous allons avoir euh, voilà, les, les retombées de honte passive. Voilà. Donc c'est très très important. Maintenant, concernant honte passive lui-même, je me demande si vous avez... Si, si vous avez croisé une entreprise comme une, une passive qui est bâtie sur, le, sur un pilier, le pilier de l'humanité, le pilier d'aider les autres, le pilier de faire quelque chose pour contribuer, pour élever les autres. Parce qu'une entreprise normale, c'est pour avoir du gain. Il ne s'intéresse pas si tu es malade ou bien si tu n'es pas malade, il ne s'intéresse pas à ça. Mais une passive vient, faire, vient, vient donner un autre genre d'entreprise une entreprise qui veut élever les, les, les autres, une entreprise qui veut euh, voilà, bâtir la vie des autres, changer la vie des autres. Et ça, c'est quelque chose que je ne vais jamais oublier. Et donc, je remercie véritablement On, euh, on Passif, je remercie H. Moufaré et je remercie aussi tous ceux qui, ont, qui, ont, qui participent à cette, voilà, qui participent à ça. Franchement, merci beaucoup. Right. Merci de m'avoir invité. Merci. Merci beaucoup, mon frère Serge. Euh, monsieur euh, Vincent, vous pouvez <rire> traduire en anglais ou vous voulez que j'ai pris un peu de notes, mais je ne sais pas si, si vous voulez parler ce qu'il a dit en anglais. Je crois que Francine écrivait. Francine, oh, Francine vous, vous pouvez traduire en anglais? Un peu? Oui. Okay. Uh, Serge, uh, yes. Um, Serge introduced himself. He is from uh, Côte d'Ivoire, living in Germany. And uh, he gave us a glance on the life he, he had trying to do some uh, charity. And then he met on passive. And passive was the answer to his expectations, to what he was doing. And um, he is very grateful to Mr. Ash Mufare because through him he will listen to help others. Um, he said that uh, he's grateful to uh, Mr. Mufare and he wonders if 
you ever came across a company based on charity and lifting humanity. For him, it's something very new. And um, he he's just keep uh, pointing the fact that he is grateful because now his project will come to life with on passive. He has started so many things here and there back home, but it's like stopped in his actions because something is still missing. But he believes that in on passive, that would be more than possible. He has a lot of gratefulness. He has a lot of um, uh, gratitude towards Mr. Mufare and all the people within on passive. Thank you, Serge. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Serge. I think he also, in the opening, he said his first passion is, his second passion is all passive. His first passion is God. So he's very passionate about all passive. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yes, thank you. Thank so you. I know Brother, Brother Marty has come, but we have Sister Jean queued up. So Sister Jean is going to go, then Brother Marty will come after her. Sister Jean. I've been very, I've been waiting patience, patiently to hear what you have to tell us today. I know you have just a unique way of putting it together for us to, to get it. So tell us how you feel, what you feel about this concept of us moving forward and the gratitude that we all have. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Bob. My my first gratitude goes to you for putting Francine and Serge in front of me because hearing the French language calms my spirit like nothing else. So I thank you both for that. Beautiful, beautiful. And I want to thank God for uh, always being the, the, I'm, I'm, I'm thanking God in advance, which is like what I think gratitude is for speaking through me, because I want to articulate this in the right way. And when you talk about moving forward with gratitude, what on passive is doing, like it does everything is showing the world a different way, doing things differently. So there are a lot of inspirational speakers out there that are quotes that talk about gratitude and they sound, you know, it's just sort of like just great quotes, but how many people actually use the power of gratitude for what it is, what it's intended for. And I'm so glad Myra brought up the the vibrational frequency of, of gratitude, which is higher than love. So if love is at 528 hertz, gratitude and joy are at 540. So the frequency of gratitude and the and joy are it's a powerful force. If we think of love as what I considered always and talked about as the most powerful force in the universe and that ash is basing an entire company on the power of love and infusing it into. It's not just a nice thing to say. It is a powerful force. And if it's being built into the fabric of our company, just imagine what the fact what the the energy of gratitude will do to our company. Bringing us all together in a group this large and across the the planet and feeling the sense of gratitude showering our teams our, our CEO, each other with gratitude, genuine gratitude. Myra, I love you and I'm so grateful to have you in my life. Your wisdom and your, your insight, your deep insight, that's genuine. And if you multiply that across thousands and millions of people, that is a powerful force, a tool. And I believe that Ash Mufara is a, a human being that understands these things on a very deep level. He's not just a nice guy. He's someone who understands that if you're going to build something that is going to transform the world, transform and lift humanity, you must do it with the most powerful tools. And that is love, gratitude, and joy. His uh, The ultimate goal is, is to bring out our joy. And by, by, you know, fulfilling our dreams, getting us to express our greatest creativity, being free to do so and to innovate. So for when you talk about the power of gratitude, you know, when I said those inspirational speakers out there 
we have so many examples of people who have shown us when they had every reason not to be grateful, they were grateful anyway, and then went on to change lives. And, and, and I have three examples. One is Bethany Hamilton. And I don't know if you're familiar with who she is. She was a young woman, a surfer. She was uh, attacked by a shark and lost an arm. Uh, and not only would that have been uh, extremely traumatizing, could have killed her, it could have kept her in fear and she she might have not gone on to take the next steps. But she, instead, she filled herself with gratitude for life, for the fact that she still had one arm and two legs. And she went on to become a champion surfer and a motivational speaker. Les Brown, one of the greatest motivational speakers in the world, came from poverty, struggled in school, had all sorts of adversity in his life. And he just, you know, when you look at, at life with gratitude, it just opens doors. It opens your mind. It it frees you. And then your story then inspires people all around you. And then the, my last example is someone who I just think is just the creme de la creme of, of someone taking gratitude and and changing not only his own life but every every the life of every person that knows his story and that is Nick uh, Vujicic, the the gorgeous man born with no arms and no legs. And if you've not ever heard him speak, you must 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 go and and listen to him speak. He is you know just you know how many people would have given up with no arms to move you around, you know, whatever, you know, but he has a voice. He has a voice and he used it and he never gave up and always just, you know, you can never have any excuses if you're around this man. So that's when Ash, you know, I love what um, Ivy, what you said about the the building uh, that uh, run down and the weeds grow up in it and all of that and how Ash had something that had been broken down, had it been, been, been uh, infiltrated, had been uh, damaged, but did he allow it to crumble more and let the weeds take it over? No, he cleaned the weeds out. He started rebuilding the walls, actually, well, freshly building the walls. So there was no time for more weeds and, and things to take hold because he was grateful that he had the team around him, grateful for us, and our love, our our unwavering faith and love and gratitude for the the, the beautiful vehicle of on passive that's going to change all of our lives. So for me, uh, moving forward with gratitude is just it's it's the gas in our car. It it is the thing that's moving us forward, and I I'm just so overflowing with it that it's really hard to express but uh i i hope that i <laughs> i hope that i captured just a little nugget of of what i believe is a very very powerful tool in our toolkit thank you so much bob yes ma'am yes ma'am when you were speaking i was just thinking about nick, uh, what's nick you know that's one person who you have to listen to him and then you feel what gratitude really is um you know, uh, so we are moving forward. We are moving forward with gratitude. When we talk about moving forward, let's also remember where we are coming from as we're moving forward. And the folks that have been able to propel us to move forward. So my gratitude also goes to this team, this, this extraordinary team that has been able to come back, pick the pieces together. Let's remember, they did not come and receive a system and Everything to all put together in the uh, handover documentation and this and that. This is where this is, this is where that is. It did not happen like that. We came and picked the system back and put it all together. But our gratitude must also go to our founder, Mr. Ash, because the box stops with him. You know, it is thanks to him, his steadiness and everything, the ability to compartmentalize his brain. This is a man who comes to us every day, sits with us, but he also has his own family issues, things that he's dealing with, but he has this extraordinary ability to divide his head, his brain, to deal with this in this bucket, deal with that in that bucket, deal with that in that bucket. So my gratitude goes to all of them. But I'm very, very uh, excited to hear how Brother Madi sees it. Brother Madi? Took me a while to unmute. 
<laughs> um, yeah, it's a powerful thing to be talking about. I uh, I look at I, I think of gratitude and leveraging at the same time. There's a there's a whole ecosystem that Ash had that you start to put together as time goes on. One is he found a way in his life to master working online, became very successful, made a lot of money, and was a giving person. And he leveraged that to give the same thing to us. And my gratitude is the potential of what we can have. My gratitude is, yes, these, these guys came in. They and this new team came in, inherited a, a pile of mess, absolute mess. And they put it together. And the and the thing is, when you're building a puzzle, you usually have the box on the table so you know what it's supposed to look like. They didn't have the box. They didn't have anything. And they, they're looking through these haystack for different different length needles. It was a, it was wild. And I was I had a lot of grat um, gratitude towards them in a way that it's the first time for me that I saw where Ash was on the receiving end of over delivering. And when I saw that in his face, I went, wow, this this is this is very good. Um but we, you know, if you can, I believe in leveraging everything. If you can, and by the way, uh, Ivy, congratulations, but I'm not surprised. You were a doctor the first time I ever heard you. They just gave me the paperwork recently. That's all. Just, I knew that was coming. Um, but anyway, um, so I, I saw Ash as this master leveraging. And you know, funny, after it's all going, Ash is going to get what he gave back again because you know what he wanted? He wanted us all to live his lifestyle that, that he can do. And when we start to see that happening, the gratitude is going back to him. It's one big thing. And you can push gratitude. You can do whatever. But I think as we take everything in on passive and we leverage it towards the some passive universe, the ecosystem, and I'm not talking about we log in on. The ecosystem of I'm passive is gratitude, love, support, mindset. You know, mindset is a powerful thing. And I don't have a lot of patience. So I'm going to push mindset on somebody until they believe themselves, okay? And, and they will. The, the thing is, everybody will. I see people changing now. <clears throat> and, and little things, uh, for example, for me personally, I would look at something and I never said, I can't do that. The first sentence out of my mouth, the mouth is, how can I do that? What can I do to make that happen? And, and it's little things like that you, you put in on yourself. Now, I learned a lot, a lot from Mr. Mufara and the way he set things up. Ash Mufara, for me, has said more than any man without anything coming out of his mouth. And, and that's pretty powerful. It, his, his, while he's doing stuff, and I'm watching, I feel like I'm watching, I feel like I'm looking in the window. You know what I mean? I'm a peeping Tom. And I'm watching what he's doing, and I'm watching reactions and I'm going, wow. He's leveraging his heart. And in turn, everybody else is doing the same thing. I thank you very much, and you're doing a good job. Costs nothing. But did you know the, the return on investment is priceless? And we have a lot of people doing that now. We have a lot of people lifting other people up. Look, we're all on a different level in our journey and on passive, all of us. And some will see some, even if you think somebody, well, he's been here six years, he, he or she knows. Not necessarily. If you're open-minded enough and you go to the leverage of love and the leverage of on passive, 
and keep your mind open. Every day I learn something from somebody. I don't care who it is. And when you have the mindset to listen and understand people, only then can you leverage that and push it off to not one person, but hundreds and then thousands. That's why I say people, the last since June, I rack my brain thinking, never waste time. So what can we do during this time that might not be as easy if we were running? And what it was is, okay, now go out there and find these people as quickly as you can. Make them feel comfortable to at least open the door or make them comfortable to at least make a video. Maybe they don't want to come on camera. Let them do one at home. I mean, I kept changing it to see what the results was. But as they did it, then I said, okay, I got to leverage this. How? Somebody would do a video and I would say, hey, do you have friends or somebody in, in on passive that was kind of shy? Like, yeah. Well, give them this and tell them they can do it too. Well, we did over like 200 videos and and deaf people uh, the Hmong uh, community has sent videos every day for the last two weeks and if you shine on them and they see it and feel it for one thing it, it helps change their mindset it really does and then when people are given goodness like Ash did to us if you're a good-hearted person, what happens? You have to give it to somebody else. You can't hold it. I see it here in people talking. They want to, you want to express how you feel, and sometimes there's no words for it. So it's your actions. Hey, do this, this, and this. And then you see people, and they smile a little more, they're more positive, they sit up taller. They're, now they're telling other people what they should do to help themselves. So leverage the love. Leverage your knowledge. We got to get people to believe they deserve, and and you got to get people where to the limit where they say there's no limit. Everything is possible if you believe. You're 100 percent right all the time. If you believe you can't, you won't, and you can see that with people right now. Uh, uh, that's the most gratifying thing for me and I'm passive is not the money. Do I need it? Yeah, don't be crazy. I'm I'm raising grandchildren and yeah, trust me. But I know that's coming. So I don't want to focus on I don't need to focus on that. But if we can take this what we have, which you don't know what the name, we're not sure what to call this ball of unpassive and bounce it around the world, imagine what will happen. Just imagine what will happen. And you can't tell me there's not other people that love to have the feeling you all of you had in the last hour and a half. It's got to be, there's billions, not millions, billions that would love to have this feeling without mentioning one dime. And, and the, the cool thing about that is that's coming anyway. Mike said earlier, you know, like when we marketed, I spent hours and hours and days and weeks and years learning something. And it was inch by inch. And most of the time, you took one step forward and two steps back. That was learning to do it right, to do it right. And that's why I kind of get upset when somebody says, I did this, I did this for years. And I'm like, okay, don't tell me that because I know that's not true. Now, Ash takes his ability and says, while he's giving out food and water with his children, he's teaching them to give too. How can I leverage this? Ah, oh, I'll package it up and scale it bigger than anything that's ever been on the planet. And I'll offer it to the people that come. Going back to the field of drinks. He was told, Ash, if you build it, they will come. And it started with one, then two, now 1,400,000 accounts. 
Now he's built it. We're building it. Now what's going to happen? We've leveraged the field of dreams. We've leveraged what we see. And everybody told you, your family and friends, you're an idiot. Well, don't you see people playing in the field? No, I don't see nothing. You're sitting on a you're sitting on a bench like you're at a baseball game, and there's no baseball, and there's no there's nobody there. You look like an idiot. But when it hit the guy, he turned around and saw him. How long have they been here? That's what's going to happen. A passive is going to become a reality, and they'll come back. I don't care what they said before. I don't care what anybody said before. I really don't care what people say, because I know when it becomes real, everybody will see it. Remember the end of the movie? It was in the evening, and you could see the traffic with lights on as far as you could see. It wasn't that way in the beginning. What do I mean by the beginning? The journey we all took. Nobody wanted to come down this road. You couldn't beg somebody to come in on passive, except for the people that were drawn in because they're like Ash Mifar. He said, you will attract people that are like you, that believe like you, and feel like you. And he did. And we're going to. I'm just saying, believe in yourself. Uh, once you know, and you can leverage that, and gratitude is not a good enough word for me. I, I don't know. There isn't a word. I just want to say, to know the little bit that I learned, and Mike and Dan, knowing that that's probably, we probably knew more than 80% of the people online working to know that the guy that was the master at it has said, I'm going to make everybody a master. Do you think, don't you understand now why it was, why it was so hard to get to where we are now? Good things don't happen fast. They just don't. Good things never happen fast. And, and Ash, out of everybody, said to me, I can believe he said to a few people, I'm glad it happened. Horrified him, I'm sure. Gut-wrenching. We don't know how much money. We know probably years were lost. We, we'll we we'll find the truth one day. I don't even care anymore. I want to focus where we're going. And I look at him, no words, and I go, oh, my God, he has what he's been looking for. And from leveraging, I know if he has it, we're all getting it. But just please expect more than you think. Just keep pushing yourself. Whatever you want, you can have it. I don't care if you did another business. I don't care. The potential in non-passive is unlimited. It is truly unlimited. And uh, yeah, I'm very grateful. I'm grateful for this team. Um, obviously, the team he's got now uh, wanted to work with Ashley Farah. Why? Same reason we do. Yeah, they're paid well, no doubt. But the same reason we do. They could go anywhere. Sounds like some of the, the, the people he has working for them, they're the best in the world. They go anywhere. Why would you go with a company that's been going through what on passive has been going through for the three years? A normal person wouldn't do that. Because they heard him. And they went, oh my God, this is different. This is special. And they want to be part of history. So, yeah, we're in a good place. Keep uh, gratitude and edify one another. Push each other above yourself. And when somebody's down or or never judge anybody. I, I've seen where people come in and said, somebody says something and they go, oh, he's no good. He does. I don't walk in his shoes. I don't walk in her shoes. I have no idea. I didn't come down past them to judge people. They will be. They will, they will wind up where they wind up. Cream rises to the top. I was told that like the fourth day I talked to Ash. Cream always rises to the top. Goodness is always rising to the top. Somebody was upset because we're going to wind up with some bad people and I'm passing. you darn right, there are thousands. But there'll be a small percentage. And the core to this apple will never rot. And, and, and darkness can come in, but where's it going to hide? If the room's that bright, where are they going to go in the corner? So what? what? They have no power. That's why the core is so important. 
That's why all of you are important, because we're massively getting bigger, not just bigger, but stronger. Uh, Unrotten, we can't rot, we can't perish, all because we all focused on gratitude and leveraging love and helping one another. And we're doing exactly what Ash wants. So what does he get in return? He's, he has much gratitude for all of us. So it's a beautiful thing. Anyway, that's all I have. Oh, man. Thank you, Brother Mari. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. Ash himself, he told us that we are moving forward bigger and better than ever before. You know, much secure, much better, and much, much, much more pro protected. But Amadi, you told us to believe in ourselves. We Yes, you know, you've been saying that ever since we first met you. Yes, we are here because we believe in ourselves. We believe in our founder, Mr. Ash. Ash, the master. The master is going to make each and every one of us a master. Just think about that. He says we should focus on where we're going. That's what Brahmati tells us. Focus on where you want to go. Focus on where you are going. You know? Uh, that was just quite impressive. So let's hear from, let's go to uh, Abeta, Canada, and then we're going to come down to the Lone Star State where the weather is still very hot down there in the Lone Star State, the city of Houston, after we come from Alberta. So, Engineer Mike, what do you feel about us moving forward and uh, what kind of gratitude do you have to express to us wow. today? Very interesting topic, Uncle Bob. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, I've heard a lot. Hmm. Congratulations to my sister, Dr. Ivy Mix. You make us so proud. So to start with Uncle Bob, I want to show gratitude again, because when I, I joined Unpassive on the 17th of November last year, next month I'll be four years in Unpassive, I did not really understand the concept. I still went through to the back office. I watched the videos which were there, you know, from so many of our leaders here, Mike Ellis, Marty Digamo, uh, Jeffrey Morlock, uh, Charles Osom. I did not still really understand the concept very well. But I met Dr. Benny, who took me to all winners, which I want to thank Uncle Bob Takusi today and Uncle Oliver Fonte. That is where my foundation in Ompassi started. So we are seeing what we were yesterday and how we are progressing. So I want to thank you guys for breaking Ompassi to me. And I am where today where I am is because of you both. You, thank you for very much. Now, I want to talk some years ago, I learned about the four A's of uh, what is called gratitude, which is appreciation, which is approval, which is um, admiration and which is attention. Those four are the A's of gratitude. Again, appreciation, approval, admiration, and attention. When you incorporate all these four elements in your life, okay, you will be, you will change your self-esteem and also the self-esteem of everybody who is connected to you, almost everybody that is connected to you. That is very important in life. And when we look at this, everything of this four is, we see that our CEO got all of them. And we will see that all of us seated here, right here today, got all of the four A's as well. To answer my, uh, the question to um, our sister, Dr. Ivy Miss, she said, what are you saying? I'm saying, let us rebuild our communities together because this is what our CEO wants us to do. Let us rebuild our communities together. Now, we should also remember that on passive, the way our CEO has built it is the beacon of hope for humanity because we look all our aspirations, we see everything that our ecosystem will give to us this is coming. Now, we want to still thank, with gratitude, we are thanking him. Because if you look at it, if we say the, the four A's, appreciation, what is that? You should appreciate, always appreciate. He always appreciates everybody that does something marvelous in non passive. He comes to webinars and say that. He also approves of people who are saying the good things 
who are encouraging other people in our, like, you tech pros are shining the light. Our big brother, Marty Degamo and Chris are shining the light. He approves of such things, which is very important. He also admires people who do extraordinary things. He says it all the time. And also, he is very attentive when you are telling him something, the attention, right? He always take, the same way we ourselves, we take attention, we are very attentive when he is saying something. Now, what, where is this leading us to? It is leading us to having, I mean, continuous motivations, having continuous, is, um, the qualities of, of of appreciation because if you don't really appreciate it means you don't really um you don't really think of what our future is going all in all passing because the gratitude is there we have he has his team we are, we are doing the work for us and so we just want to say thank you to him um and uncle bob i want to say thank you for you all again for organizing these um round tables thank you very much Thank you, thank you, GJ Mike. Thank you, GJ Mike. The four A's. Let's remember the four A's: admiration, appreciation, approval, and attention. And Perfect. we are saying that our founder, Mr. Ash, embodies all that, and that's thank one you. of the, the symptoms of gratitude. So I'm going to go to the low star state, but uh, after her, the two Otep Pro brothers, my brothers Vincent, will come, and then Oliver before we do our final round. So. I see my sister Marcian. She's uh, been very patient in the in the Lone Star State. Um, how are you feeling today? What what is in your mind regarding this movement that we are moving forward? And how gratified are you? Thank you. Hello, hello, everyone. I hope you guys can hear me very well. So I am very grateful and I'm happy to be here. I am all smiling and I am being dancing. Thank you so much for having us here today. And uh, I'm going to start with something maybe that's according to me, love and gratitude. And uh, there's a difference between love. When you love somebody, you might become jealous. That's not gratitude. That's not gratitude. Because most of the time people will say, oh, I love this, I love you, I love that. I don't want us to love on passive. I want us to be grateful for on passive, to be grateful for our CEO, to be grateful for our tech team, grateful to everybody that has been holding us until where we are now. That will be the difference between loving. Like I said, most of the time, when you love something, at some point you might become jealous and we did not have any jealousy thing in on passive because we are all equal of the system of getting being in the gratitude. Whatever Mr. Ash Mufara have given us, he opened the door, the one for all of us. He did not hide anything I decide to give to somebody else later. And uh, I just want to say this because this company, I have been so grateful for. I will take from me. I am who I am right now because of Unpassive. Some four years ago, when I didn't have, when I was nowhere to be found, I came in through this company through a sister of mine that she's now my angel in heaven, and I'm very grateful for that. So, and this company have taught me every single thing that I can say my mother have not told me. I have learned a lot from everybody sitting on this panel. I have learned a lot from all the, 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 the webinar and the chat that Mr. Madi Degamo, Chris Johnson, Red Reference, or everybody that go on every morning. Because those chat is not only to talk about our business, it's always about our daily life. And when you pay attention, you will learn something that will help you to go along during the day. And I am very grateful for that because I learned. Sometimes ago, our brother Madi was posting. I don't know if he know about it or if he was just saying it. He talked about the diet of a carnivore diet. Maybe he was just saying it because he have to say it. But some of us, we took it really, really seriously. And when you see people bringing their daily life to talk on their show, to educate other people, we have to be grateful for that. This is not a business anymore. 
This is something that we learn every day. This is a become a movement. This become a family reunion of us every day coming to those platforms. And when we don't have it, we feel like something is not there. When we have a member that doesn't come or a family member we can call ourselves that are not showing up, what we do, sometimes we call on them or we know on them. You will not see a, a business out there that they come online and sit people birthday and talk asking about prayer for other people and talk about the people that they are no more. This is what we are going to be grateful for. And this is what I am so grateful for because this is something that the world needs to be doing. We don't have to be loving people. We have to be grateful for the things that people are doing because love will bring us at some point jealousy. We are not doing that in our passive. I have to be very grateful also because this on passive, you guys should look at me today, four years ago, who was I? Who even know my name? Can I say something to anybody around there? No. To do what I said is what people do because of unpassive. Today, when I stand somewhere and I have to speak, people will pay attention. Not because I have too much power, but because of the instant that unpassive has put on me. People pay attention. You become suddenly a leader, somebody that are leading other people, and you become an example, and that makes you change your own way of living. It makes you think about what is coming out from your mouth. We have a freedom of speech, but remember, what came out from your mouth might not be a freedom. So we, we on passive are teaching us how to think before saying. Because that word that came from your mouth might not be a freedom later on tomorrow. You are accountable of that. This is one thing that I'm very grateful for. I am very grateful because today I have a million of people that are in this family that are not a family member with me. I am very grateful because yesterday I did not have a dream. I couldn't go to sleep. There was no sleep. What am I sleeping for? I don't want to dream because my dream was not going to be fulfilled. Today, I am begging every minute of my life to go to sleep so I can dream more, more and more. I am grateful for that. I am grateful because my brother here, Mike Ellis, have told us some time ago in the webinar, you have to read. I was not somebody that I want to read. I took from him and I said, why is asking us to read? Let me try. Because before when I take a book to read, that would be my babysitting time. I will go to sleep. I didn't know that reading book was a fortune. That was where your knowledge will keep in coming up. I am very grateful for that. Because those are the things that you don't learn in school. Those are the things that you can only have if somebody is really, really in the joyful way with you to give you, to tell you, look, your fortune belongs on what you read every single day. Because people that we are taking example of them today are the people that wrote this book, are the people that they are successful. We are talking about successful story. Those stories are reaching somewhere. If you don't read it, to start practicing it, you will not have it. So I am very grateful for this company. Can do you ever ask yourself, we are not making any money, but why are we doing this every day and nobody is getting tired? It's because we are getting the knowledge that money cannot pay us. I go to work every day, like Mr. Mac. I just said, he works every day. Did, did I love what I do? No. I don't. I go to work every day because I need to pay. That's why I've never been happy when I'm going to work. But when I'm talking about unpassive, believe me, yours, even if I'm sick, I have headache, and somebody say unpassive, my headache is done. I'm cured. That's my medication. Why? Because I have that joy. I don't love unpassive, but I have that joy. I have that gratitude. I have that thing that is me, knowing that I am going to succeed. My job is not telling me I'm going to succeed. My job is paying me because I'm giving my body and my time to them to do what they want me to do. But on passive doesn't ask me to do anything. On passive is giving me that joy that I didn't have yesterday. And mind you, the financial way is on the way coming. But before then, he already prepared me to have that gratitude, to know that tomorrow when you have that freedom of time, 
the financial you will have will help you now to help other people and to go out and do the humanitarian work. That's the gratitude I'm having. I don't love on passive, but I'm grateful for on passive. Because if you are love on passive, I will be jealous and I will not say it to anybody. I will hide it for mm -hmm. myself. When you love somebody, you hold it. You keep it. You gather the thing and you don't want anybody to have it. I am not loving on passive. I'm grateful for on passive. I'm sharing it to everybody. I am very grateful for what our CEO and our dream team, La Creme de la Creme, the team that have done the impossible, the thing that nobody thought it was going to be done. We are very grateful for them. And you know why this, those team are in on passive? Because our CEO is somebody that have that grateful heart. His hands are clean. He's here for humanity. Nothing will happen to Unpassive because he's doing the right thing. If he was not doing the right thing, Unpassive would have been dead like other company out there. Because other company out there is a one-man show. It's for me and for me. So those people will close it down because they don't care. But on passive, because it's built for humanity. It's built for people like us that we did not know that we were going to stand in the platform like this today and speak to the whole world and to our generation to come back to see us. Nothing will happen to on passive. So thank you so much, the OTEC Pro, the team, to have me here today. I am very grateful. I don't love you us, but I'm very grateful for all this family that we have. Thank you. Wonderful. That's a good one. You don't love on passive. You are grateful for it because if you love it, you'll be too jealous and you will not share it with somebody. That's what I said. You also said something that Mr. Ash had been telling us. The world will know your name. The world will know your name. It is that time. It is that time. You know? So let's go to our OTEP Pro brothers. We have uh, my brother Vincent and Oliver. Vincent will go first and then Oliver will come and then we'll do our final rounds. Um, moving forward, we know where we come from. We know what has happened to get us to this point. I'll just let my brother Vincent uh, take it from there and tell us how he feels from where we're coming from, where we're going, and what he's gratified for. Okay. Oh, thank you, uh, my brother Bobs. Thank you very much. And then uh, today is a, a wonderful day. Uh, before to start, I would like to thank everyone, all the speakers here. Thank you very much. You did a great job because uh, we appreciate also the great job you are doing. Also, before to go to the gratitude, let me let you know that you did a great job and then you are a great speaker. So thank you for that great job. And before to start, I will also let uh, our OTEC bro brother, we like, uh, today is not here, is my our brother Collins. But uh, his, uh, today his mother is sick, so I know he's going through a difficult time. We all pray for his mother so that she get uh, a, re a rapid uh, recovery. So we should all pray for Colin's mother as well. So, you know, with this difficult time, he can be here. And then even if he's here, he cannot concentrate and talk to us. So this is, uh, you know, coming through from our Otepo brothers. Thank you very much. Today, we would like to show my appreciation to Mr. Ash Mufara and then uh, the whole IT team. So first of all, let's uh, appreciate the IT team. What they did, they did a great job because the job they did is massive because putting all these uh, things together, I know that they didn't build the system, but make sure that all the system come back. And then today we have everything done. We have everything come back. Oh, yes, is a good appreciation. So I have a great a gratitude like all of you said, all the speakers, they said that. So I have also to mention that as well. And also thanks to our CEO, Mr. Ash Mufara. He did a great job because uh, if that no business continuity that he put in place, we wouldn't have all this we have today, oh yes. So that business continuity is a great, and then it's a big job that he did because that business continuity, we have a backup system that he put in place. We have a, Restore time recovery that I put in place. Restore point recovery also that I put in place. All this that you put, that's the, the fruit that we are enjoying today. So again, thank you, Mr. Ash Mufara, for thinking about that. So you are know that today, for me, you are a great businessman because of all this, 
that's what we do because as a business continuity, that's what you did and then that's what you are doing. And then it's good, what you are doing is going very well. And then it's greatly, I greatly appreciate that because it's part of what I do daily. So if uh, Mr. Ash is here and then you ask, ask him a question, this is the kind of question I'll ask. Have you put a business continuity plan in place so that in case of anything, we can go up and do the job? Like what is going on in Florida today? Imagine that our business is there. If Mr. Ash Mufara put business continuity in that place, after what is going on, in the maybe next few hours, everything, all the business there, they can stand up and start running again. That's what they call also business continuity. Because if that is not in place, the business, everything collapses there, building collapses there, it is finished. But when this is in place, whatever happened, Erica and whatever they will call the name, after that, the business will stand up and run again as it used to be before what the disaster, natural disaster is going then. And then that's what Mr. Ash Mufara has done. And then I know he will do more and more and more than that. So I don't want to be long today, but I'll put my appreciation to that because as uh, what he has done is greater than what we're expecting. It's more than my expectation. Everything, I check everything. And then the performance, the performance, what we do first when we check the database or the website that I do daily, that part of my job. When you think we check first, what is the performance? If when you click, everything is working fine, we know the customer back sitting there, they will be happy for the performance. The performance is great. I check the performance is great. There's nothing to worry about that. So I'm very happy. I'm very happy for the new system. I check in and out. That's massive. Perfor business continuity is there. Performance is there. Security is there. I don't know what is missing. Mr. Mufara, thank you. Thank you, you and your team for the great job you have done. That's what we call it a great business. So again, it showed me again that is a business continuity man, and then he's doing a great job. Because uh, the Bible said, with faith, you can move a mountain. And then that faith that Mr. Ash had, that's why he will move that mountain that is in front of us. So I will not talk too much today, but I'm great, happy, grateful for the great job he has done. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, my brother Vincent. Thank you for insisting on that business continuity because that's the key. If you have that, you have that plan always tested and ready to go. When issues like this happen, the systems come back, comes back up, and business continues. Thank you so much. And then we we'll go now to Florida. You you made reference to Florida. My brother Oliver is was actually at the path of Milton. The 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 the, 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 the uh, what is it called? The hurricane that we just had. The storm that we just had went through Tampa where Oliver is, but he survived. So I'm glad to see you, bro. Um, I just want to open the floor for you to tell us, uh, give us your reaction to our moving forward and our gratitude. Yeah, uh, I want to thank everybody that is here today on this platform and uh, those who are watching. Uh, my gratitude goes to you guys also, and especially for everybody, Dr. Amy Vicks, Kudos, congratulations, continue to do the good job. And my big brother here, Mike Ellis, I talked to him last night. We we're like just celebrating and talking and celebrating. Thank you, bro. My first gratitude goes to Mr. Ash Mofara. Before, during, now, and future, he got it. He got it. And our future and our financial life and future is going to be stable. And it's going to give us that peaceful mind, that inner peace that we, what he wants to do or he wants us to do and to take the unfinished job for Mother Teresa to impact people's lives. We will do it. And the world will be a better place. Let me come again. My next, that I want to like, my gratitude go to the unstoppable team. When I say the unstoppable team, the IT engineers. As an IT person, what they did being the IT field for how many years? I've never heard of. It maybe it has happened, but I've never heard of that. They took they 
they inherited data, they, they recovered the data, recovered the source code 100%. Not only that, they inherited it, put them together. Now we have our OES. Kudos to them. Let me let me just break let me break down what they just what the unstoppable team did in a layman understanding. It's like you're constructing a house. You have the first contractors, they came in, they did the job, you were not happy about what they did. You kicked them out and you brought in another contractor without them knowing any dimension, what how the foundation looks like. They didn't even know how solid the foundation. You, they, they, they didn't know anything. They came there, they, they look at it. And in less than no time, our OES came back. Kudos. That this is a job in IT that for somebody, the IT team, them, there must be that super experience for what they did. And I also want to give kudos and gratitude to our CEO that he was able, he was able to go out there, look for them, brought them back, and they did what they did. And today, we can log in in our OES. I can see my profile. I can see my team size. I can see my wallet. I want to, my gratitude goes to them. And not only that, a few days ago, the CEO in the update section talked about the request that the amount of requests that got in 12.5 12 million within six hours, 20 to 25,000. Per second. This makes me to understand when the CEO told us that we are coming back more protected, more secure, better, and bigger than ever. Again, as an IT person, it makes me to understand that our system is stable. Despite all the traffic that came in within six hours, within six hours, at 12.5 million requests that came in. And 20 to 25,000 per second. Never heard of this. Make me to understand that we are super secure, protected, efficient, and they can 1 billion or even 8 billion people can jam that system. It will not blink. I want to give that guarantee to all of us, the founders, where we are. Please start celebrating. If you've not started celebrating, be celebrating because your future is stable. You have that financial freedom and time freedom. Kudos to Mr. Ash Mufara. Kudos to him. Talking, and this makes me also to get to we the founders. We should reset our mind in that, put in that positive mindset. Start, don't think about 12 quadrameter space. Think about on passive is global. Think about the world. Think about the world. My sister here talked about three cognitive thinking. Are you? What does that mean? You have to think ahead. Our CEO always think ahead. Think ahead. What will you do now that we are going to the world? Yes, we all talk, we all talk about humanity and the rest who want to fill our tongue. Is that all? How are you going to do it? How are you going to run your business? Mr. Ash has given us a multi-trillion dollar business. It's you now. How are you going to go about it? That is that pre-cognitive thinking that my sister was talking about. So we should sit up, jubilate, celebrate. But while celebrating, think ahead. Thank you, Bob. And I just want my last sentence is going to be on pass is going to is bringing us the biggest transformation that the world has ever seen. And we are fine because we're focused. Thank you, Bob. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. Um, I don't know if Francine was here. I know Francine, you've had some problem. Did you capture anything or we just move on? Well. Okay, that's fine. So what um, he just said was very powerful. And I think the French community need to hear 
Je vais juste résumer hein, rapidement parce que Oliver, j'ai rattrapé ce qu'il disait au vol. Euh, Oliver a insisté pour dire que il a beaucoup de gratitude parce que il est plus sécurisé aujourd'hui. Qu'est-ce qui le sécurise C'est le fait que on a réouvert le notre écosystème avec des techniciens qui n'avaient pas été là au départ pour la, la construction de ce système informatique. Ils ont récupéré quelque chose qu'ils ne connaissaient pas. Ils donnent l'analogie d'une maison en construction et ils ont tout fait dans un temps record qui nous permet tous aujourd'hui de pouvoir les uns et les autres rentrer dans nos comptes. Qu'est-ce que cela veut dire Cela veut dire que nous avons un système qui a été remis en marche et on a pu tester que en interne, il y a eu beaucoup de consultations du compte et la machine n'a pas bougé. Ça veut dire que c'est une machine très solide. Ça, c'est très important pour nous tous, les zones passiviens, de savoir que nos données sont sécurisées. Parce que nous avons pu le tester ces derniers jours, chacun a pu rentrer, sortir, et on a ces quelques chiffres qui disent la, la, la périodicité à laquelle ces comptes ont été consultés. Donc, le côté sécurité est très, très important et nous sommes rassurés là-dessus. Merci beaucoup, Bob. Je vous en prie, Marcel, je vous en prie. Let's go to uh, Brother Mike Ellis, who's just, we're starting down our closing round. We're already over two hours. So let's hear from Brother Mike what his parting words for us. And then we'll go to Mira, and then we'll go to Jean, and then we'll just go around. Brother Mike. Yeah, no, th thanks, Bob. Uh, absolutely a terrific uh, webinar, and everybody here has done a really, really great job. Uh, I, I want to end with with one word of gratitude to to Ash Mufara. And I'm not sure everybody has had this for the last five years or so, but in the last six months, it, it's absolutely apropos. And the word is assurance. You can come into Unpassive today and know that it's going to happen, period. Because of the talents he's brought in, because of what they're what they've been doing over the last six or seven months, because of the changes in on passive, you know, you have the assurance that on passive is going to go to work for you. And with that assurance comes the most important thing about on passive when we when we think about a business and what it's going to do for us. We have we have the longevity now. Mr. Mufara, because of what he's done, and a lot of people didn't see this the first five, five and a half years. They weren't sure that on passive was really going to do what they thought they were going to do. But because of what Mr. Mufara has done, we have the longevity that it is going to last for generations. And what does that do for you? It gives you the ability to come online, develop an online income, and get to the place where you don't worry about finances. You have that assurance. That is what Mr. Mufara has given us. And if you start to understand that, along with everything else here that's been said, you live in a state of gratitude. You really do. You really do. Because your life whether you see it or not yet, right now, your life is going to change in ways you never thought were possible. Uh, and that's a really, really great place to, to be, as Marty says. It's, it's it's where we want to be. I'll turn it back to you, Bob. We have assurance. Don't worry about it, guys. Thank you, Brother Mike. Let's go to our spotlight of the day, Miss Maria Aquino. One word sentence or a phrase for us to go to the weekend. And thank you, Mr. Takusi. And I just wanted to, to give a little, little, little small le lesson about the word gratitude. The word gratitude comes from the Latin word gratus, which means pleasing or thankful. You know, it, it is a, a social emotion and, and it came back, it, it comes back from the time when people were giving to others, you know, and, and getting something in return. That's the little history uh, <laughs> clip that I want to give, right? And uh, I just want everybody to, to understand what vibration is to raise that that virtue that that quality of gratitude because the vibration is high it's the highest there is at 540 when, when you are grateful for everything everything you experience everything changes your life just transforms into something positive and this is what we need and with that being said i just wanted to thank uh mr takusi and everybody here for giving me this opportunity today and and thanks to Ash Mufara for transforming our lives forever. Thank you so much. 
Indeed, 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 my sister. We'll go to Sister Jean Aliva, please. A word sentence of phrase as we move to the next Thank week. Thank you. Sure. Thank you, Bob. Um, and just to follow up what Myra just said is that uh gratitude is it's an energy, it's a frequency, and it's a wise business decision. <laughs> it's not, it's a it's something that we can all use. So just just keep yourself high vibe, keep yourself grateful, and you will not go wrong. Thanks so much, Bob. Thank you, Dr. Ivy Mix. A word, sentence, or phrase that you want us to take as we go through this coming week? Yeah, uh, thank you, everybody. And uh, we're all qualified. And um, the one thought I'll leave is, what new thought can you think today that shows you're grateful? Every day, think a new thought that shows that you're grateful. Wow. Every day, think a new thought that shows you are grateful. Thank you, Dr. Mix. Uh, Marcel Hemabu, a word, sentence, or phrase for us to take with us as we go this week. Yeah, I just want everybody to keep loving yourself and be grateful for everyone around you. Amen. Engineer Mike. Yes, yes, Uncle Bob. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Uh, my, my question I want to ask ourselves again is two questions for us. The first one is, do you really know your business? That's my first one. For us all on Pasadena, do we really know our business? Then the second one will be, are we ready? Are we ready? You have been very consistent with that question, and I hope we all hear in DJ Mike. That's a loaded question. Are you ready? Are we ready? Let's go to Sesh. Sesh, what is your take? Say what sentence or phrase as we go through the week? Ah, okay, I want to join join uh, Engineer Mike and, and say that uh, we have to know our business and uh, grateful to uh, to unpassive. Thank you very much. Sister Francine, a word sentence or phrase. You can speak in both languages. <laughs> you can speak in English and French or whichever. Nous sommes là pour les générations à venir. Ayons de la gratitude. Soyons heureux, car on passive est là pour durer. Uh, gratus veut dire merci. La vibration de la gratitude est inestimable. C'est une vibration, la gratitude. Pratiquons-la. La gratitude est une énergie vibratoire. Ayons une nouvelle pensée qui manifeste notre gratitude chaque jour. Aimons-nous nous-mêmes et soyons de la, ayons de la gratitude envers ceux qui nous entourent. Soyons prêts pour notre business. Posons-nous la question chaque jour. Sommes-nous prêts Et préparons-nous-y. Merci. Okay. You have two more coming. We we'll go to uh, Hotel Pro Vincent. Final yeah. word, sentence, or phrase. Oh, I won't be long. Thank you, uh, Brother Bob. Thanks, everyone here today. It was a great, wonderful, wonderful webinar. Thank you, everyone. So the last sentence will be uh, show my gratitude to the new team. And uh, Mr. OSEO, Mr. Mufara, it is an unbelievable task that they have done. Thanks again for the great job. God bless on passive and God bless everyone in on passive. Thank you. Brother Oliver? Yeah, I want, I want to say um, uh, we, the founders, total freedom is a reality. With on passive, that total freedom. We are talking bit about days and weeks. It's at it's at our doorsteps. You have you have that total freedom to do whatever. Your job will know who your remote control to tell you you have to be at work at nine o'clock and leave at five p.m. You have all the time, and that is that total freedom and it's a reality. Thank you. Dr. Francine. <laughs> Merci à, à la nouvelle équipe technique. Nous ne pouvons cesser de remercier la nouvelle équipe technique ainsi que notre PDG pour ce qu'ils font. Et euh, 
nous avons de la liberté, nous tous qui sommes dans un passif, une liberté dans laquelle nous construisons notre richesse. Voilà ce que j'ai pu capter. Merci. All right, thank you, sister. So, uh, on behalf of all of us here, the OTEC pros, as you heard earlier, my brother, um, our brother, uh, uh, Collins was is not with us today. He has some family issues. Mom is sick, so we pray for her. Thank you for tuning in with us. Um, let us have a grateful heart. Let us be gratified, you know, for where we are. Like my brother said, most companies, and this is this is ninety percent of companies that will go through what we just went through. Remember that there's an aspect, there's an element of insider threat within. Most companies do not survive what we just survived. So I'm very grateful for our founder, Mr. Ash, and the team that has that he brought in and that have rescued us. But our gratitude, our gratitude, our collective gratitude as founding members affiliate of Unpassive is go to Mr. Ash. The way we give our gratitude to us is by our collective action to help him achieve his mission. We know the one thing that drives Ash Mufare is that zeal to uplift, to make a change, to make a difference on earth in this lifetime. And he does that through his vision. That vision is this system, this new revolutionary disruptive innovation for a lifetime that he's brought forward. And he brings us in. When we come in and we carry whatever he gives us, the grace that he's given us, we now use it to uplift other people. That's how we show our gratitude to Ash Mufara. It is the ripple effect the ripple effect of our collective actions that meets Ash Mufara's mission. So I'll leave you with that, my dear friends. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you again in two weeks. The OTEC pros and the founders around the world. Thank you and God bless see you in two weeks. Thank you, OTEC Pro. Thank, Thank you. you, everyone. Thank you, Mastian. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Congrats, Dr. Ivy Mix. Bye. See you, guys. Bye. See you, guys. Okay, bye. Thank bye. you, Bob. Bye. Thank you, brother Mike. Thank you, Mike. Okay. Thank you, Bob. Thank you.